A simple breath test or breath biopsy could soon help detect early signs of disease. This video gives an overview of how to perform optimal breath collection using Owlstone Medical's Receiver Breath Sampler. Please make sure you refer to the instructions for use provided with your receiver before starting a breath collection. Every breath contains hundreds of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Illness can lead to changes in the chemical information in breath. Alstone Medical's breath biopsy platform enables breath to be collected non-invasively and then analysed. This is a powerful way to detect and monitor disease. Breath biopsy has a wide range of applications in early detection and precision medicine. The breath biopsy platform is already being used in the world's largest breath-based clinical trials for the early detection of cancer. The receiver breath sampler collects exhaled breath and pre-concentrates the VOCs onto sorbent tubes for later analysis, either at your own lab or at Alstone Medical's breath biopsy clinical laboratory. Receiver has been designed to be a straightforward and robust solution for collecting breath samples. It also allows you to collect specific breath fractions, for instance enriched bronchial, end tidal or total breath. Here are a few tips to ensure that every sample you collect is of the highest quality. Before you touch any part of the receiver, put on a fresh pair of nitrile gloves to avoid introducing any contamination from your hands. Connecting receiver to the laptop and Casper air supply gives the carbon dioxide sensor in receiver time to warm up and flushes receiver with air. Using the Casper air supply is important to minimise contamination with unwanted volatile compounds from the environment. For every collection, a new kit must be used. When you are ready to start the collection, cut the tie wrap and then remove the end caps. Remember not to leave the tubes uncapped for more than a couple of minutes before or after the test, as they could absorb unwanted VOCs from the surroundings. Push the sorbent tube assembly right up into the mask, making sure the barcode is at the front. Then push the bottom of the sorbent tubes into the receiver housing, ensuring that they're fully seated. Insert the back of the mask into receiver, making sure it is fully pushed home. Adjust the mask around the tubes to make sure that the mask is pushing the tubes into receiver, not trying to pull them out. This graph shows the pressure and carbon dioxide concentration in the mask. Before putting the head strap on the subject, first let them try receiver so they can get used to breathing with the mask on. Check that the non-return valve on the back of receiver is opening as the subject breathes out. The valve should be replaced if it is no longer opening freely. Once comfortable, loosen and then fit the head strap. Lift it around the head with the secondary adjusters on top of the head. Attach it to the other side of receiver. The head strap must be comfortable, but it's really important that the mask is tight enough to prevent leaks which could contaminate the breath sample with VOCs from the room air and which will also delay sampling. Check particularly that there are no leaks where the mask meets the bridge of the nose and below the mouth. If the mask is not sealing correctly, adjust the position of the receiver by moving the straps. If the receiver is falling away from the bridge of the nose, move the straps up. If the receiver is coming away at the bottom, under the mouth, move the straps down and get the subject to lift their head and sit upright. Once the head strap is in place and the subject is comfortable, press the Start Breath Collection button. At this point, receiver will automatically wait for a few seconds to stabilise and learn the breathing pattern. It will then start collecting breath. During the breath collection, remind the subject to breathe normally Slower, comfortable breaths are more effective than rapid breathing patterns. Don't worry if the subject coughs, sneezes or talks a bit, but remember all of these will slow collection. The subject should be monitored throughout the breath collection. If absolutely necessary, receiver can be removed, but do not stop the software as receiver will detect the change and automatically stop sampling. Receiver will also start automatically when reapplied to the subject. 
If you want to stop the breath collection completely, click stop and complete the on-screen notes describing what happened. During sampling, the software displays a blue progress bar showing what percentage of the sampling is complete. When the collection is finished, the message box will show collect complete and the collection bar will flash blue and green. The settings can be configured to collect breath for a specified number of minutes. By default, the collection will time out after, for example, 12 minutes, even if the progress bar hasn't reached 100%. Now the collection is complete, remove the receiver from the subject. Remove the tubes with the mask attached and then pull the tube assembly from the mask. To seal the tubes, fit the metal transport caps to each end of the sorbent tube assembly. Ensure the caps are on correctly, making sure that the tube assembly with caps passes through the plastic jig. Secure the caps by pulling the green tie wrap tight around the assembly and caps. If you are not shipping the tubes straight away, place them in a refrigerator for storage. The collection data is saved onto an encrypted USB and together with the sorbent tubes is then shipped to a lab such as Alstow Medical's Breath Biopsy Clinical Laboratory where the VOC profile is analysed to identify disease biomarkers in the breath sample. Alstow Medical offers a complete range of breath biopsy products and services and has an active clinical pipeline including breath-based clinical trials using the breath biopsy platform. Our mission is to save 100,000 lives and $1.5 billion in healthcare costs. For more information, please go to alstomedical.com.